Hey Explorers, I'm Mariah, co-owner of Explore Estes and your guide to adventure in Estes Park. If you're planning a trip to Estes Park, Colorado in May, you've come to the right place. This video will provide you with everything you need to make the most of your visit during the early start of the peak tourist season in our small mountain town. You can also skip ahead to the different sections of this video in the timestamps that are linked in the description below. Let's jump into the details. As May unfolds, Estes Park begins its transition from snowy spring to a lush summer. This month marks the early start of our peak tourist season with visitor numbers doubling compared to April, totaling slightly over 300,000 people. While it's not as bustling as the full summer months, you can expect more activity and excitement, especially during Labor Day weekend when iconic attractions like Trail Ridge Road fully open for the season. When it comes to getting around, transportation options improve in May compared to the previous months. However, take note that ride-sharing services like Uber and Lyft very rarely operate in Estes Park no matter the season. The hiker shuttles in the Rocky Mountain National Park are fully operational starting Memorial Day weekend, which is the last weekend in May, as are limited routes for the free shuttles in Estes Park, also known as the Peak. The Bustang bus service also becomes available on weekends from various cities like Denver and Boulder to Estes Park by the end of May. For more freedom, your best bet is to bring your own vehicle or utilize local ride services like us at Explore Estes to get around the area. At Explore Estes, we are a licensed transportation business that offers rides within Estes Park, ride services down the mountain as far as Boulder and Fort Collins, and rides to or from trailheads in the Rocky Mountain National Park. See the description below for a link to request our ride services in town. Some rental options are available, but they are also very limited in town. Rentals include Uptop Automotive, who offer a few local vehicles, and Backbone Jeep Rentals, who specialize in 4x4 rentals. The Turo app is another rental choice with a few vehicles available. One important thing to note, although we're nearing summer, we can still see some snow throughout the month of May. With warmer temperatures, the ice tends to melt quickly on the roads. However, driving in falling snow and slush can still be difficult. Consider an all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive vehicle as weather can still be unpredictable this month. And if possible, equip your vehicle with winter or snow tires and carry tire chains as a last resort for two-wheel drive vehicles. National park roads receive less frequent plowing, so ensure that you're comfortable with icy driving skills before heading into the mountains. And speaking of weather, May brings a mix of beautiful warm days and the occasional surprise rain or snowstorm. With highs around 59 degrees Fahrenheit, lows averaging around 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and occasional dips below freezing, you can expect the unexpected when it comes to May weather. There's a 41% chance of encountering either rain or snow, making it one of our variable months. In 2022, the last snowstorm of the spring started during the last week of May, continuing into the first few days of June, which emphasizes the fluctuating nature of May's climate. The Rocky Mountain National Park may experience snow at higher elevations, while lower elevations enjoy sunshine and warmth. Wind speeds average around 12 miles per hour, becoming less of a concern as we move towards summer. This month sees what people consider a stereotypical springtime with lush greenery in the Rockies. As grass turns vibrant and by mid-May, we start to see the first wildflowers blooming in lower elevations such as dandelions. As the snow begins to melt throughout the area, waterfalls and rivers will be flowing high. Trails at lower elevations will be muddy and begin to showcase more wildflowers towards the middle of the month, but higher elevation trails will still be snowpacked. And as we move further towards summer, you can expect the sun to start rising earlier around 5.40 a.m., extending daylight until approximately 8 p.m. for sunset. When it comes to packing for May in Estes Park, layering remains crucial, especially if you plan on hiking at higher elevations. While base layers may not be as essential as in previous months, having a waterproof or resistant outer layer is still advisable. Be sure to wear wool socks and some waterproof boots to keep your feet dry. And with warmer weather, clothes like lightweight hiking pants and long sleeve sun shirts are still advisable to not only keep the harsh sun off your skin, but to also keep you protected from ticks hiding in the brush. Legators still come in handy for keeping slush and mud out of your boots, while microspikes are essential for icy hikes on popular trails. Snowshoes may still help on a majority of high elevation trails as the snow is melting off into unstable slush. You can rent or purchase gear at the Estes Park Mountain Gear if you're missing any essentials. Make sure to also check out our detailed list of what to pack for spring in Estes Park that's linked in the description below for some of our favorite gear. 
As May unfolds, attractions that were closed in the shoulder season begin to open back up, including campgrounds, previously shuttered shops and hotels, and best of all, the iconic Trail Ridge Road that leads from Estes Park to Grand Lake. The Rocky Mountain National Park is the biggest draw of visiting Estes Park, Colorado in any season, but please note that timed entry reservations will be required to enter the National Park starting on Memorial Day weekend until October. See the description below for links to resources and details regarding the timed entry reservation system. Some of our favorite activities to do in the month of May are to take the scenic drive or tour through the Rocky Mountain National Park to see the wildlife and their springtime babies. Check out our private spring tours also linked in the description below. Visit the historic Stanley Hotel, take a hike in the mountains, go horseback riding, ride the Mustang Mountain Alpine Coaster, go fishing during the springtime runoff, or shop downtown on Elkhorn Avenue for souvenirs. I hope this detailed guide helps you prepare for your visit to Estes Park, Colorado in May. Let us know in the comments below if you have any questions or let us know if you visited the area before in May and what your experience was like. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more informational videos about visiting Estes Park, Colorado. Until next time, happy exploring! Yay.